Hey guys, Iceman here. So, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to show off some of my dinosaur toys from the Lost World Jurassic Park and the original Jurassic Park. And I actually have some that are from Jurassic World as well. Some that I like and some that I don't like. And some Papo dinosaurs, which I think are my favorite. Look at his eye. It's like a marble. So they did a really good job with this one and he's kind of rubbery. So I made a video of him not too long ago. Very nice looking bull T-Rex. But check this out. Here is a Dimetrodon by Papo. And his mouth even opens. Yes, he's very vicious. Heck, I think these were omnivorous. Uh, they were probably primarily car carnivorous, however. I think they mostly ate meat. But yeah, this thing's epic. I can't recall how I got this one. I think I got them for my birthday not too long ago. So, very nice little creature. I think they would regulate heat with this sail on his back to help keep him warm and to keep him cool. So it's kind of multi-purpose. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure this is Papo, right? Is this, yeah, this is this is Papo for sure. Well, Schleek has one as well, but I just don't like the Schleek one as much. Now, when I was a little duck, I actually had a Dimetrodon that was in the Jurassic Park series, and I really liked that one. Uh, I think I might actually have one somewhere. I see them right now. Oh my goodness, it's in my closet. So let me get them out in just a minute. But first off, it's not the original one that I had. I found another one at a garage sale. But look at this. The Lost World Baby T-Rex. And his little leg breaks. He has like a cast that he came with. Just like in the video. You remember the movie The Lost World? Where Nick Van Owen, Sarah Harding, they captured him. He's going, <coughs> something like that. And they could hear him out in the rain. Oh, and that bad guy, the bad guy broke his leg in the movie. And then he set him out like this. And the poor little guy, and he chained him up. And he was like, and then the bad guy waited with his gun because he wanted the mom to come and then he could blast the mama and the daddy. He was a hunter. But, I mean, the T-Rexes were really, we liked the T-Rexes, so we didn't want the T-Rexes to get blasted. But that's what he did. And then Nick Van Owen and Sarah Harding, they carried him. They went and grabbed him. I can't remember, why didn't the bad guy... The bad guy didn't see him take him. I think the bad guy got distracted because Nick Van Owen, he ran to the base camp where the bad guys, or where the other bad guys were staying. They ran to the base camp and they unlocked a bunch of dinosaur cages that the bad guys caught. So the dinosaurs started running amok and destroying the bad guys' uh, little campsite. And actually, I think it was this vehicle. It was supposed to be kind of what it was in the movie. Because I was going to show this off. This thing's cool. Uh, when the dinosaurs got out of their cage, a Triceratops ran into this. It actually looked kind of like this Triceratops. It actually looked kind of like that one. This one actually made T-Rex sounds. It's crazy. It doesn't sound like he wants to do it anymore. He made T-Rex sounds though. But the Triceratops went and whacked the vehicle. The vehicle went flying because it blew up or something. And the bad guy was like in a tree waiting. And then the vehicle fell near the bad guy and the bad guy had to jump off the tree. Was his name Roland? I don't remember. He ended up kind of being a good guy in the end because he didn't want to... He didn't want to be a part of the company of death or something I think is what he called it. He was referring to InGen. Because he saw what they were doing. They were just capturing the poor dinosaurs. 
trying to make them into a circus again. But so that distracted the bad guy. And I don't know what happened to him after that. I mean, he didn't die from it. He didn't even get hurt. He just jumped out of the way. And then Sarah and Nick came and rescued this little guy. But I like that little guy. And I actually have two of them. See? I think uh, I, got, I got one from a garage sale. Yeah, those are cool. When I was a kid, I uh, went to my friend's house and we would play dinosaurs. We'd set up dioramas. Kind of like this right now, actually, but we'd set up dioramas. And we'd start moving around and stuff, and, and we'd create a storyline. But we kind of went as, we would create it as we go. You know what I'm saying? Like, we'd have guys in the car, and then they'd be like, okay, we gotta go and check on the Triceratops, make sure she's doing okay. When you go make sure the Raptor pen is still tidy. You know, things like that, but anyway, <laughs> here's a Popo Stegosaurus, one of my favorites right here. Look at how beautiful that is. In fact, this is the first one that I discovered by Popo. I was at a local toy store and I saw this and I thought, oh my goodness, that is one of the nicest dinosaur sculptures I've ever seen. According to my opinion, I was like, look at the detail on it. I couldn't believe it. It's like, what is this? I was like, what manufacturer makes these? I was like, I saw Safari LTD in the past. Those are kind of cool. I saw Carnegie. Is that who you say? Or Carnegie? I saw Carnegie, but I haven't seen this one. And I was like, my goodness, this is like the movies. I was like, this is like modeled after the Lost World Triceratops. Maybe with a shorter tail. They should have made the tail a little longer. But that's how I discovered Popo. Uh, and the thing was like 20 bucks, I don't remember, but I was like, I need that thing. I was like, I really wanted that thing, you know? So I got it. And uh, ever since then, uh, I've just really been into Popo dinosaurs. Because then I realized, it's like, oh my goodness, they're actually, they do look like the Jurassic Park ones. Because I looked them up on the internet. This was several years ago. Well, this was maybe in 2012. Yeah, I think it was in 2012 or 2013, roughly, where I discovered Popo. And that's where I discovered the Stagosaurus. Let me see if I can find a date on him. I don't know if I see a date. Oh. 2005 is when this one started to be manufactured but I, like I said I discovered them in like 2012 or 2013 but then I looked them up on the internet and I was like are you kidding me I've been missing out I was like this one looks like the one from Jurassic Park and I was like they even sculpted it after it I was like they sculpted it after the pose that it does uh, at the end of Jurassic Park where the little banners falls across them. When dinosaurs rolled the earth, I think is what the banner says. And I was thoroughly impressed. I, I was very pleased because I always wanted a T-Rex that looked like the T-Rex in the Jurassic Park movies. And you know, this one looks cool and it's very collectible. It's the bull T-Rex, old school counter. But of course, I mean, look at it. The, the proportions, you know, nothing's really like how it was in the movie. Has cool texture and paint, uh, rubberized skin. But, I mean, it's not like the movie. Like, look at the skull on this one. This one looks like it was mod like 3D modeled after the movie. And that's the thing. I think Papo, they like put it on the computer screen, the, the images, and they were able to, uh, to translate that into plastic molds. And of course, I think Kenner just kind of artistically designed those without really sculpting them after the movie. But that was in earlier times, less computer technology. Uh, and it was there, of course, but toy manufacturers didn't really utilize it as much as they do now, I think. But yeah, this, I mean, I got this one later. I don't remember exactly when. But, I mean, I think they're even in scale with each other. Because I like the Lost World Stegosaurus. And that's why I have this one. Look at that. What a beautiful dinosaur. 
beautiful dinosaur and I showed this one off in a video action feature dino damage I didn't uh, I lost the dino damage part but I mean rubberized skin see this one I mean I almost like this model the sculpt more than I like the pop because it reminds me so much of the movie because the head kind of droops down you see it droops down this one kind of goes up props up it might just be positioning, but this one seems to have a slightly shorter neck, actually. This one has a shorter tail. This one has a longer tail. But I like how the tail is kind of upright like that. It's not a droopy tail. And, and both of them are kind of like that. But my goodness. Yeah, that, that's one of my favorites. Right there. i got to show you my Dimetrodon. I'm going to go get it because it's, it's right in the closet. But before that... This is one of the latest uh, Papa's dinosaurs that I've attained, right here. Let me zoom in on them. Let me, let me focus on them. The Carnotaurus. And I remember it was really exciting when we uh, heard that the Carnotaurus was going to be in Fallen Kingdom. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. But yeah, I think this is the... Uh, this is the last Papa dinosaur that I've attained, and this was actually a couple years ago. Let me look how old this one is. When was it? Because I remember this one was new. 2013. No way. This one was designed and out in 2013. Okay. My goodness. I, di I didn't realize it was that old. Okay. So I'm going to grab... I have the Utah Raptor as well. I'll show the Utah Raptor off in a later video. Because I saw that back there as well, actually. This is uh, one of the first Jurassic Park toys that I ever received when I was a duck. The original Jurassic Park movie. Look at this. You hold the leg and it opens its mouth. This isn't the same one. It's the same model. But uh, I don't know what happened to mine. I found this at a garage sale. But look at that. I was just really impressed by it when I was a kid. Just beautiful coloration. I was always, I always loved the color green. This is just vibrant green with vibrant yellow on the on the sail there. Look at the mouth. I remember looking into the mouth. I was like, whoa, look at the detail. They put like uh, like its gums in the bottom of its the top of the roof of its mouth and all that. Yeah, the, the Dimetrodon. I'll put them next to the other Dimetrodon. One of my first dinosaurs. Yeah, these are nice. And then, this is one of the ones I received when I was a duck as well. Not the same exact one again, but the same model. And it had a great action feature. Because this one's kind of hard plastic. I also had the rubberized one that would spit water. But this one you pull down on its, uh, on its hand and it screeched. Uh, but a very nice action feature. Uh, the proportions were really nice, reminded me of the movie. This one I remember was more expensive. In fact, I think I remember what it was priced at. Back in the day, twelve ninety nine was like a tear up in cost for the uh, maybe it was fourteen ninety nine. That was like second tier in cost in terms of the uh, Jurassic Park toys. Like the first tier was like seven ninety nine. So these were like almost twice as much. But obviously, they made them electronic. They, that was the electronic line. And I have another one in the same line. They, they had a, uh, a Velociraptor that was very much like that as well. Electronic Velociraptor, but... This is one of the few uh, Fallen Kingdom toys that I bought. Because I just wanted a Carnotaurus. Because everybody likes a Carnotaurus. It's just cool. Looks cool. It's kind of nimble and quick, right, compared to the T-Rex. Yeah, especially in the film. I don't want to put him on top of the car, do I? Maybe I'll put him on top of the car. Yeah, look at that. But yeah, I mean, the action feature, and I mean, I just, I was like, I got to get this thing. This thing's awesome. Uh, I, I, mean, I want to get the other ones as well. Like, there's the big Brachiosaurus. There's that big Brachiosaurus. Uh, that shoot might even be sold out. I don't know. 
The one thing they did right with the Fallen Kingdom once, they got the sculpts better. See, because here's the Fallen Kingdom sculpt, then here's the Jurassic World sculpt, and it's just, it's just really bad. And look at the little tiny tail. Folks say it looked like a chicken. But then here's this one. Much better. Um, I mean, I, I, I wish they had a higher quality one. You know, they got the Colossal T-Rex. I was never too interested in that. It's just really big. And uh, not really much more in terms of detail than this one here that I'm showing. But yeah, I, I wouldn't mind uh, picking up a few more of the Fallen Kingdom toys. Look at this. This is from Chaos Effect. Jurassic Park Chaos Effect. This was awesome. Uh, it's supposed to be like they splice the genes. This is when, and this was like uh, before Jurassic World ever came out. This is far before it. I don't even really know what that does. Oh, in fact, there's a. That's right. There's a button. But this, this these were the original hybrids in the Jurassic World franchise, and they were uh, in the form of toys, just a toy line. And this is probably in late '90s. I think is when those Chaos Effect ones uh, came to be. Here we go. This guy was like my favorite toy back when I was a little duck. He came with a bow and arrow. And I had like little gas arrows. Like so they could just stun the dinosaurs. Like it didn't have a sharp tip, it just had like a... Kind of like a grenade tip that would just emit a bunch of gas when it hit something. Was the uh, idea behind it. I forgot his name, but... I thought the guy looked cool as a cowboy hat. Kind of reminded me of Dr. Grant. Look at that collection. I have more, of course. Now, here's a Brachiosaurus. I really wanted this when I saw it, so I was like, I'm going to get it. Because it looks just like the, uh, the one from Jurassic Park. See, Popo, they, uh, they knew what they were doing, you know? They're like, there's a, there's a market for Jurassic Park look-like dinosaurs in terms of uh, toy models or just risen things or hard plastic that are quality. You know, they knew there was a market for it, so they started making them. And this is this just looks just like the, uh, the one from Jurassic Park. And I always wanted a toy on that one. Yeah, I always wanted a toy on that one, but there was just never really one. Like the uh, the Carnegie one was okay. Look at that. Yeah, if you guys will like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, more to come on these collections. Peace be with you.